Hey guys, so I am back with another review with a little bit of a cold that I'm getting over. So uh, this week we're gonna be taking a look at the newest 900 Global release, which is another hybrid that the uh, storm industry decided to put out and uh, the Sublime. So this one's pretty strong though. It has a RG of 248 and a differential of 056 and a mass bias of 020. Now, if you watched my video on differential, you know that the higher the differential, the more flare potential it creates. So this one at 056 is one of the strongest ones that I have seen in quite some time. So um, I drilled this one 65 by four and a half by 30. So it should be pretty angular when it gets to the end of the pattern. I did put down um, a PBA pattern, which is the Amleto Monicelli pattern. Uh, probably not the most conducive pattern to start out with. Um, I think it's gonna be a later in the block top bowling ball, but we'll throw it and see what happens. I also have a new camera lower down so we can kind of see the ball motion. And uh, I'm gonna raise that camera up and move it back uh, to see, I guess, more of the approach. So um, let me know what you think of those in the comments. But uh, but yeah, but right now it's time for the Sublime. Let's give it a roll. All right. We'll start around track area 10, 12, roll it a little bit. Wasn't the worst shot. Wasn't the greatest shot either, but. I like the way the ball looked going down the lane, so. Move left a little. Ooh, come on. I don't really get too many messengers here because there's not a, there's not a lot of lanes to um, have a support structure strong enough to, uh, to keep the kickback solid left and right, so when I do get a messenger, it would have been a really good one at a center that carries a lot, like Kegel or ITRC or something like that, but let's uh, keep moving left and see what it looks like. Come on. Man, getting all the hits today. Maybe it's the ball. All right. Move left. Ooh, that picked up a lot sooner than I thought it would. That's what happens on these flatter patterns in the middle, though. You just don't have a skid down through there so it gets to the end of the pattern and it jumps a lot more violently than what you would see like on a house shot. Same area. Missed it. All right. Go around twenty three, twenty four. Oh, it came back. 
I was a little worried that that one wasn't going to come back. Was it? Not bad. All right. Stand in front of the ball return. You probably didn't help that. Haven't been over there in a minute, but. We'll try that one again, because that was awful. Not sure. All right. Let's move back toward do a couple more around 13 and we'll move around 17. Ooh, that picked up. That one needed to be rolled. All right, we'll do 10 back. I say that, but uh, will it happen for the last shot? Nope. See, I thought I was going to get a pre through strike. All right. You can't end on that shot. I mean, I guess technically you could. But. That's not how we do it around here. That's the shot you end on. All right, so you can see that's pretty much what the numbers would indicate. It was very strong red to mid lane. Now, like I said, this is a little bit flatter pattern, so um, the misses were exaggerated. And uh, you, could, you could see that, I mean, the ball looked really, really good when it, when it did want to come around the corner. So I think it's definitely going to be a good ball, especially since Storm just announced that they are discontinuing the Absolute, which was another really popular hybrid. So um, I don't think that that one's going to replace it because I think the Sublime is a little bit stronger. But uh, I have bowled League with it, and uh, it was more of a third game uh, we stayed after league and bowled the game, and, and it looked even better then. So I think after transition, it's a uh, it's going to be a really good staple. But you could see on the uh, on the shots that that I threw, I mean, how um, it it was pretty sharp coming off the spot, but it was still um, red the mid lane, um, pretty good. So I think it's going to be a really really good ball. So um, hopefully. Once I get over this cold and we get through the holiday season, I can start doing videos again, comparing bowling balls. So uh, it's almost the end of the year and I started this channel on January 2nd, I think of this year. So almost to 2000 subscribers, which is um, crazy. And I appreciate everybody that's liked, subscribed, tuned in, watched, commented, made suggestions and uh, and I uh, just want to say I appreciate it. Obviously, this is not my full-time job, so everybody thinks I'm out here all day, every day, um, throwing bowling balls. And I wish I was. Um, I would be a lot better than I am. And I'll try to start posting more over on Instagram, True House Bowler, if you want to follow me over there. So, um, so yeah, I appreciate everybody tuning in. Be sure to like, subscribe. Um, it's free, so uh, we'll start doing uh, more bowling ball comparisons um, in the new year. As soon as I get over this cold and we get through the holiday seasons, hopefully we can start doing a lot more videos and, and comparisons. So um, if you have any comments, suggestions, be sure to, uh, to leave them down in the comment section. And uh, 
yeah, till the next one, guys. Hope you have a great holiday season. Merry Christmas, and uh, and I'll see you hopefully soon. Peace.